Good morning, welcome to the day three reading rush video challenge. So this one will be going up a bit late because I only just saw this before I went to bed here in New Zealand, time zones are weird. And the only idea that I have to do for this is gonna take me all day. So that's what we're gonna do. I will say like, I am completely not a foodie. I'm a really fussy eater. And also because I have Crohn's disease that also further limits what I can eat. Also, I really can't cook or bake to save myself. And I have no interest in really learning how to. So for this challenge, I was like, hmm, supposed to make some food inspired by a book. How am I gonna do this? But then I read a passage in my current read and that's what we're gonna go with. So in this book, there is a section where these three mage apprentices have just arrived at the mage school and their teacher magics them up their favorite meals. So I'm gonna use their favorite meals as my three meals for the day. So we will start with Aaron's meal. Let me read you what it says about his favorite meal. The bowl was full of macaroni and cheese covered in breadcrumbs, steaming as though it had just come out of the oven. The plate held a brownie heaped with ice cream. The carafe was full of an amber liquid that Cal guessed was apple juice. So I never really thought about having macaroni cheese for breakfast before, but we've got some macaroni cheese here for breakfast. Let me show you what I made. So this is our beautiful macaroni cheese breakfast. I'm lucky I did have some macaroni cheese. Um, I put some breadcrumbs on it, but it doesn't really look that great but it's got breadcrumbs also this is not apple juice i just mix some cordial together to try and make it look like apple juice do you think it looks like apple juice anyway that is my first meal so i will be back around lunchtime. oh also it did talk about a brownie with ice cream i am not having a brownie with ice cream for breakfast like i don't mind crazy breakfast but i'm not ready for ice cream so i i also don't have brownies or ice cream in my house because those would be too tempting but I might see what I can obtain during the day and maybe we'll have dessert later for a special treat okay so I am back and it is now lunchtime so we're gonna have another meal inspired by the iron trial this time it's gonna be based on Tamara's meal she is the second one to get her meal in the scene so this is Tamara's meal. It held a big plate of sushi with a lump of green stuff on one end and a bowl of soy sauce on the other. With it was another plate with three round pink mochi balls. She'd received hot green tea to drink and actually looked happy about it. Now I feel the same as Callum about tea, so we won't be having tea, just so you know. Also, I don't really think my Crohn's would get along with sushi. So this is the one I've cheated the most for. But I promise to do much better at dinner, um, which is going to be a really weird meal because what Callum asked for is weird. But we'll get to that for now. Let's look at my Tamara inspired meal. So this is my Tamara meal. <laughs> um, it's pretty bad. I'm just going to have some fish fingers. Um, and I've put some sauces at either end, like it said. I mean, that's close. Also, I've just got water in my mug. But... Vestex is a Japanese company, so we've got a little bit of Japanese inspiration in there. That's terrible. But I do like fish fingers for lunch, so that's what we're doing. We'll, we'll see what else we can do the rest of today. Okay, so just quickly, I decided it is dessert time for sure. So we've made ourselves some dessert. So this is part of Aaron's favorite meal. We've got the ice cream and the brownie. I put the ice cream on the brownie because that's how I want to eat it. Mm -mm -mm. Yum. Ugh, I honestly feel so full now. I don't know how I'm even going to consider eating dinner tonight. Ugh. Good evening. So it has come to our final meal based on the iron trial. To be honest, this is later than I normally have dinner, but that brownie filled me up so much. I couldn't face it until now. <laughs> but just quickly before I show you the interesting dinner that I've made. I wanted to let you know what were my lies from yesterday. So firstly I asked you which one of these books I was lying about reading and if you guessed The Dark Vault then you were correct. I really want to read it. It's a beautiful book but I haven't yet. And then from the non-bookish things that I said the one that was a lie is that my best friend is a vampire Sometimes I like to pretend that my boyfriend is a Spike from Buffy the Vampire Slayer, but to be honest, he's not undead enough. 
But to explain the other two things, so I have two and a half siblings or more accurately, I have five half siblings. So in total that adds up to two and a half. And as far as blinking being my superpower, if you take a photo of me, you can almost guarantee that I will be blinking. Okay, so let's get into the meal. I'll read you the little bit where it tells you about Callum's favorite meal. He reached for his tray skeptically, not sure what he would find, but it really did hold his favorite dinner. Chicken fingers with ranch dressing for dipping, a side bowl of spaghetti with tomato sauce, and a peanut butter sandwich with cornflakes for dessert. In his mug was hot chocolate with whipped cream and colored marshmallows dotted over the top. So let me show you what I've made. I've got chicken nuggets instead of chicken fingers, but they'll do. I've got my spaghetti. I've got my peanut butter sandwich. It does have chips in it because I think any peanut butter sandwich is better with chips in it. And then I've also got my hot chocolate with some rainbow marshmallows in it. Now I don't normally eat cornflakes so I didn't bother getting myself some cornflakes for dessert because that seems bizarre. Callum you are bizarre. Also I've realized that this is Aaron, this is Tamara and this is Callum. I think I had those two mixed around before because I don't pay attention to character descriptions. So I hope that you enjoyed watching me eat bizarre food all day. It's actually not that different from how I often eat, just the timings and the combinations were a bit weird. But as usual, I hope that your reading rush is going well. Personally, I'm starting to really enjoy this book. I'm getting close to the end. Hopefully, I'll finish it today. Thanks for watching and I will see you guys next time.